If you follow influencers, either on YouTube or Instagram or any type of social media platform, most of the time when we present something on YouTube or Instagram, our hair looks perfect. So we have just gone through the process of styling our hair and then we're showing you guys our final results. But most of you know that that is only a little snapshot in time. What about the rest of the time? What about, you know, let's say I do a hair video and I show you guys what my hair looked like that morning. What about that evening? Does it still look great? Or does it have a bunch of frizz in it? Did I tie it up in a bun? What about day two, day three, day four? How many times a week do I actually style my hair? How many times a week do I use shampoo? How many times a week do I conditioner wash my hair? What products do I use? Do I use a variety of products or do I use all of the same products? I'm going to try to answer all of those questions in this video and I'm really going to make a very conscious effort to not put anything on for the camera. The only thing that I guess is sort of a lie <laughs> is that I am in quarantine right now like most of us and I'm home with a three-year-old and a three-month-old. So really if I wasn't making this video I probably wouldn't have put the effort in and styled my hair as often. I probably would have had two or three days a week where I woke up in my pineapple and then went to bed in the same pineapple which you know isn't great for your hair but let's just be honest. For this video I'm going to try to replicate what my full week of hair routines would look like if I was actually like leaving the house and going out in public and going to work etc. So I really hope that this video is a good learning tool for you guys to kind of see what a week's worth of hair routines look like. I hope it's a little reality check. I hope you enjoy it. Um, and if you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. Let's jump into Monday. Okay, so this first day was not very exciting, except that look at this frizz halo. I slept on a regular pillowcase in my son's bed and my hair looked like this in the morning. So this is me just deciding if my hair feels like it is, you know, clean enough and soft enough that it is worth refreshing. But this day, all I had to do that day was laundry and some cleaning up stuff in my house and taking my kids outside. So I just wore my hair in a bun. I always put a pin in the back of my hair, otherwise I end up with a rat tail. <laughs> and then I just tucked the little straggly pieces behind my ear. That's all I did that day. Next day, slept in the same bun that I put in my hair the day before. Again, I'm just evaluating my hair. And you can't tell in this video because my hair, I think, actually looks pretty shiny here but it definitely needed to be washed. So I washed my hair using a sulfate-free shampoo, this one, and this conditioner, and then I used a little bit of leave-in conditioner in the shower and some gel, and I plopped my hair in my perfect hair care towel, and then my final result looked like this. I let my hair air dry for hours. It's probably like four hours later. And this one turned out pretty good. I can tell there's too much leave-in in it, but, um, as my hair dried a little bit more through the end of the day, the leave-in kind of came out or I, I don't know what happened. My hair absorbed it and I, some of the gel flaked out and then it looked like this at the end of the day. So I could have touched this up a little bit if it wasn't like 10 o'clock at night. So this is me just putting my hair up and getting ready to go to bed. And I'm gonna try to salvage it for one more day. So I'm doing not a bun, I'm doing like an actual pineapple ponytail. And we'll see what that looks like in the morning. All right, so this is the next morning. Um, and, you know, doesn't look too bad. I thought that it was going to be too hard to refresh because I used a little bit too much leave-in. There's Lois coming to visit me. I never get to film videos alone. Either Lois or Wilson or Kyle or somebody is always crashing my party. But anyway, my hair felt pretty good. And again, um, my plan for this day was to take my kids outside all day. It was a nice day. It was kind of windy, but it was a relatively nice day. So I'm not going to put too much effort into refreshing my hair. I just sprayed it with water. I'm going to put a little bit of mousse in it. I do this a lot. Like this is like my 30 second refresh routine. I just put a little bit of mousse in it and then I'm going to scrunch that mousse into my hair. Oh, more mousse apparently. This is exactly how I apply it. <laughs> I'm just going to scrunch it into my hair. Um, and I'm just putting lipstick on. 
I don't really wear makeup at all. Like I pencil in my eyebrows a little bit, which are already microbladed, and I wear lipstick, and that's pretty much it. And so does Wilson, apparently. Um, but because we were going outside and it was cold and windy out, I ended up putting my hair in two pigtails and putting a toque on. So some might consider that a waste of a refresh, but at least like the bottom of my pigtails look shiny and curly and not super frizzy. All right, the next day. So I knew my hair was gonna be a wreck this day. I had a ton of leave-in in it. I slept in a pineapple. Um, I wore my hair in pigtails all the day the day before with a toque on. And so this was gonna be a full wash day and I was actually shooting a video this day. So this day I washed my hair with the Briogeo shampoo and conditioner that I ordered. I have a whole video about this. I'm just kind of showing a couple clips to explain what I did. And then I scrunched um, the cream and gel into my hair. This was a very lightweight style, like the cream and gel didn't have very much hold, but it ended up being honestly the best hair day of my entire life. Like look at this hair. This is that same hair probably six hours later after again spending a bunch of time outside. I took my baby for a walk in his stroller um, and I didn't tie my hair back. And I think it held up pretty good, like I could totally refresh this if I was going out somewhere at night. I even fell asleep that night with my hair down and then stuck it up in a ponytail um, in the morning. But this is me um, getting ready to, you know, start my day. My only plan for first thing this morning was to exercise. And um, I just wanted to really show you guys what my hair looks like. So this is what my hair looks like when the curls fall out. And if I have the right products in it when this happens, I actually love the way that my hair looks and feels when it's kind of straight slash wavy. I would never use like a heat tool to recreate this, but when it happens accidentally, I try to embrace it. So I'm just tying my hair all the way up because I'm about to go for a walk slash jog. Um, and then I'm gonna come back and show you what my hair looks like afterwards. Um, so this is me when I came back. Note that I'm not sweating because it was cold out and I wasn't really working very hard. <laughs> but this is what my hair still looks like and again hard to really tell on camera but I actually some days uh, love my hair like this if I wanted to take my time and really comb it out with my fingers and kind of style it I could make this really work well I think this is how my mom always wore her hair when we were growing up she would put big velcro rollers in it and make it kind of look like this on purpose um, but uh, I like my hair like this and I normally wear it either up in a bun or half up and half down when it looks like this. And this turned out to be like kind of a cute bun. Kind of like a streamlined, wavy kind of bun. This is how I want my hair all day. Next day. The next day, it's time to wash my hair again. This hair is too straight to be refreshed. My roots are starting to feel like a little bit heavy. I have no volume. I could probably get away with sleeping on my hair and wearing it like this for one more day, but I decided to co-wash my hair. So I washed my hair just using conditioner, and then I used um, gel and styling cream in my hair, and now I'm diffusing my hair. Again, I don't really have much to do this day, but I wanted to make my hair look good as if, you know, I was shooting a video or something like that for you guys. So this is how my hair turned out with just conditioner washing, styling cream, and BioTerra gel. This was a really good hair day. So this, I don't have too much product in it. I still have definition. Um, and this hairstyle really held up. This is just gel and styling cream. Um, I loved this look. And this is that same hair at probably 7.30 at night. So this is like, you know, eight hours or more later. This is what my hair looked like. I'm very, very impressed with um, this styling routine. So I may recreate this one again. All right, the next day. <laughs> the only thing about sleeping with not that much product in your hair is when you wake up, you got a lot of fluffy frizz. So anyway, I wore one of those elastics in my hair to bed. And this is what my hair looked like. This hair looks kind of crazy, but it's definitely refreshable. I decided to refresh my hair the way I do a lot when I'm not on camera for you guys, which is in my bathroom. I was gonna try to crop my toilet paper roll out of these scenes, but, cause it's like a weird, I really need to renovate this bathroom, guys. It's just like a random toilet paper roll holder on the wall. <laughs> but anyway, um, I'm gonna refresh this hair and 
I very rarely actually use a spray bottle. I just do that so I can refresh my hair on camera for you guys. But right now I'm just standing next to the sink and I'm just running water out of the tap, putting it in my hands and smoothing that water over my hair, kind of using the praying hands technique. Um, now I'm just looking for my hair cream because I have no idea where it is. But anyway, I use gel and a little tiny bit of hair cream. And again, my hair, I just dampened it with warm water from the tap. I'm going to use the praying hands technique again and kind of smooth that mixture over my hair like I always do. I have enough in my hands for two sides. I'm doing this very quickly, like I didn't really crop very much out of these videos at all. But anyway, here we go, and then I have to do the top section of my hair. So again, I'm going to take that little ponytail out of the top of my head, and I'm just taking water in my hands right out of the tap, warm water, and just kind of smoothing that water over my hair. It does get a little bit messy. You can tell that my robe is a little bit wet here. And I just want it to be damp. And again, a little bit of gel, a little bit of hair cream, and I'm going to rub that all together between my hands, and I'm going to praying hands that uh, over the rest of my hair. And normally on these days, I do let my hair air dry all of the way, or I let my hair air dry most of the way, and then I give my roots a blast with the diffuser. Sometimes I give my roots a blast with the diffuser first, and then I let my hair air dry. It just all depends. I think this day I actually did diffuse my hair a little bit for like five minutes, just at the roots, and then I let it air dry. And this is what it looked like. And I definitely have a cast, and my hair looks a little bit stringy, but it's just because it's not all the way dry. So I'm gonna come back on camera for this one if I remember. Yay, I remembered. This is a really good example. So my hair looks so much better. Um, hours after I styled it so this is like between four and six hours I can't really remember after I styled my hair and this is what happens to me a lot of times that I shoot a video so I shoot a video and my hair looks good but it usually looks a little bit too producty and then hours later like it really really looks good when it fully dries um, I loved my hair like that but even though I loved it I was gonna be really busy for the rest of that day so I had to tie it back I can't be multitasking with a bunch of hair in my face so this was the following morning. This was when I look at my hair and it looks like this soft and still curly and not a lot of frizz, I know that this is going to be a relatively easy refresh. And that is what I did this day. I refreshed my hair. I did it using a spray bottle and just gel, I believe. But I forget already, so I'm gonna have to wait until it switches <laughs> to the next clip. I kind of forget. Yeah, I just use gel. So I refresh my hair with just gel, and this is what my hair looks like. In this shot, you can see how my hair is shaping up. This is just gel and air dried. And my hair definitely looks a little bit producty and a little bit springy. Stringy, I should say, because I definitely have to break up the cast. And you can see the bottom of my hair in the back. I don't like the way this looks because my hair is still a little bit damp and there's a little tiny bit of a cast. So once my hair dries 100%, I would break that up and it would look a lot better. Um, but I ended up, again, getting busy and tying my hair back in a ponytail. So I never really got to finish that hairstyle, which is too bad because it would have looked really good, I think. All right, and this is the following day. So this is like, I slept this day. I was just showing you that one of my earrings fell out or I took it out in the middle of the night, but I actually slept with two little claw clips in my hair like that. So you can tell that my hair is just flattened out, the shape of it isn't good. I probably broke some hair because I slept with clips in my hair. And this hair is like, there's parts that are straight because it was pulled back tight. Um, this is gonna be tough to refresh, but I definitely don't have time to do like a full hairstyle today. So I'm going to attempt to refresh it just for this video. In real life, I would probably just tie it back automatically or wash it but I'm just gonna try to give it a little refresh so that maybe at least if I'm just wearing it a pon in a ponytail or half up or half down or something it'll look half decent so I'm refreshing it using a spray bottle and some mousse you guys see me doing this a lot it's probably getting boring but I, pro I promise you guys that this is like almost the end of the video I would consider this kind of an epic fail this is my least favorite hair all week even when it dries completely I know that it's gonna be like half curly half 
wavy and just not look great. This is kind of what my hair looked like when I first started the Curly Girl Method and it couldn't really find that corkscrew curl pattern yet. Um, but, you know, in an attempt to look half decent, I'm just going to pin the top up and maybe wear it half up and half down. But in reality, I probably ended up wearing it in a ponytail. I just can't remember. So this is what it would look like half up and half down. And I mean, I would fix the part that's tied back into like a little knot or something like that so it looked a bit better. But I do wear my hair like this a lot um, or pin back and in a ponytail, which I refer to as the Elaine Bennis. There you have it. There is a week of hair routines. I wish that I could say that my hair routine was the same every single week, but as you can see in the video, normally it involves me evaluating my hair that morning and then thinking about how much time do I have and what am I doing that day? How good do I want my hair to look that day? Um, am I shooting a video the following day and I'm going to wash my hair the following day? I kind of have to think of a whole bunch of factors before I decide exactly what I'm going to do with my hair. I do not have good hair days every single day. Now that I'm wearing my hair curly, it is a little bit more work. And if I do nothing to my hair at all, it does not look good. Sometimes it might only take a simple refresh, but I still have to refresh it a little bit and add products. And so I don't want you to think that I wake up in the morning and my hair look like this. And that was another kind of point of this video. I hope you guys liked this video. I hope that it was valuable and entertaining. Um, thank you so much for bearing with me. I have been having such a hard time shooting videos now that I'm home with both my toddler and my three-month-old. So thank you guys so much for sticking with me. If you like this video, you can give it a thumbs up. If you don't like this video, as always, give it a thumbs down. If you have any constructive criticism, please let me know. If it's about the audio in my videos, I'm working on it, guys. I'm working on it. Subscribe to my channel, and I will see you very soon in my next video.